Hi students. In this lecture, we are going to solve problems based on organ pipes. See the problem. So it is given that two successive resonate frequencies in an open organ pipe are 1944 and 2592H. Given 1944 and 2592H. Find the length of the tube. Speed of a sound in air is 324 meter per second. See first how we have to start a problem. Two successive frequencies are given are open organ pipe. So open organ pipe means we get all frequencies, right? So this can be taken as nth harmonic. Then this will be n plus 1th harmonic because condition given successive resonate frequencies, so successive. So nth harmonic, this is n plus 1th harmonic, right? We have to find length of that tube. And you are given speed of a sound in air 324, right? 1944 and 2592. Second one. 2592, right? These are two successive frequencies. And we have to find length of the tube. We have to find length of the tube. <clears throat> Speed of a sound is 324 meter per second. So what I'm saying is, this is now nth harmonic and this is n plus 1th harmonic. Then see what we can write. <clears throat> if you take ratio, I can write n plus 1 by n is equal to 2592 by 1944. This is n plus 1 into f naught and this is n into f naught okay n the harmonic so frequency is n times of the first harmonic n plus one the harmonic means it is n plus one times the first harmonic so f naught gets cancelled right now see from this what is the value of n okay. it is a how much one plus one by n equal to Right, two five nine two by one nine double four. That implies n value. See how much n value? Is it a three? So n value is three, right? Am I correct? I'll cross check once here. What we get one by n equal to. 2592 minus 1944 by 1994. This is now how much? 648, right? By 1994. That implies n value 3, right? <clears throat> that means first one is the third harmonic. And next one is a fourth harmonic, right? Now we have to calculate what is length of the pipe. If you take a third harmonic, <clears throat> we can write, we can write n into, n is 3, v value 324, third harmonic. So n into v by 2n. 2 L value we have to calculate. 
third harmonic means one nine double four. Okay, so this is now how many times? This is now six times it, right? and this is now get two times. That means L value one by four meter, or it is twenty five centimeter right i hope you got clarity this is n the harmonic this is n plus one the harmonic so like that we have to start the problem right now see next problem <clears throat> so this is the previous iit problem given in 1988 for two marks given an argon pipe p1 Closed at one end, vibrating in its first harmonic, and other pipe P2 open at both ends, vibrating in its third harmonic, are in resonance, are in resonance with a given tuning fork. See carefully, <clears throat> first one closed, first harmonic, second one open at ends means open pipe third harmonic they are in resonance with a given tuning fork that means both frequencies are same okay both frequencies are same so we have to find ratio of length of p1 to p2 so closed pipe first harmonic open pipe third harmonic Right. See how we are solving it. <clears throat> Closed pipe, first harmonic means V by four L or four L one. Open pipe, third harmonic, right? Three V by two L or two L two. Right. So it is very simple question, right? V gets cancelled. Okay. Two. Here two times. Therefore, L1 by L2 equal to 1 by 6. So it is just writing the given condition. Okay. Right. Now see next problem. <coughs> An open pipe is suddenly closed at one end with the result that frequency of a third harmonic of the closed pipe is found to be higher by 100 H than the fundamental frequency of the open pipe. This is also previous IIT problem given in 1996 for two marks. So given open pipe, initially open pipe, it is closed at one end. So it becomes now closed pipe. Then what happened? Frequency of third harmonic of closed pipe is found to be higher by 100 H than the first harmonic of the open pipe. Ask now fundamental frequency of the open pipe. So third harmonic with the first harmonic of open pipe, right? Third harmonic of closed one. Say carefully. Third harmonic of closed one. 3V by 2L is equal to 100 plus first harmonic. Sorry, it is a 4L. Just a minute. This is 4L. Right. 3V by 4L. 
first harmonic of open pipe is 2L. This is now given condition. So now we have to find what is the first harmonic sequence. So we have to find the V by 2L how much. Now simplify this. So this is now 3V by 4L minus this is taken as 2v by 4l, right? Multiply and divide with 2. So 2v by 4l equal to 100. That implies v by 3 minus 2, 1. It is v by 4l equal to 100. But what we want? We want v by 2l. That implies this will be how much? It is equal to 200 H. Okay. That is our answer. So it is just write down the given condition. Okay. See the next problem. And this also previous IIT problem given in the year 2005 for two marks. Right. An open pipe is in resonance in second harmonic with the frequency F1. Given open pipe is in resonance in second harmonic with the frequency F1. Now, one end of the tube is closed and the frequency is increased to F2. <laughs> Frequency is increased to F such that the resonance again occurs in nth harmonic. So here we have to focus one thing, open pipe, first one. Now that becomes a closed pipe because one end is closed. So open pipe, closed pipe. And here one important one to solve the problem is frequency is increased. Increase it to F2. That means F2 is greater than F1. What is it? F2 is greater than F1 condition. Okay. That means we can verify some options. If you see first one, F2 less than F1. So this is not answer. Second, there is a possibility because F2 is greater than F1. Option C, this also possible. Option D, not possible, right? <laughs> option D, not possible. That means the possible options are B and C. So out of these two, one is now correct option, right? So in both cases given 5 by 4, 5 by 4 is n equal to 3 or n equal to 5. That is what we have to cross check, right? So given resonance in second harmonic open pipe, second harmonic, now it becomes a closed. It is now in the harmonic. Right, see how we solve it. Right. Open pipe, second harmonic. So F1 equal to 2 into V by 2L, right? Second harmonic. F2, it is given, F2 is given nth harmonic. N into V by 4L, right? So it is now closed pipe. So we have taken 4L. See what this can be taken. This can be taken as this is equal to V by L. In the place of V by L, what I can write? F1, right? So N by 4. N by 4 into V by L. V by L is F1. Okay. Now you are given N, right? So now what we can say? If N equal to 5, right? If N equal to 5, then F2 becomes a how much? 5 by 4 into F1. This is now correct answer. Okay. So just write down the given data. 
mostly we can solve all problems. Okay. C option F2 we got 5 by 4 F1. So it is option option C n equal to 5. It is 5 by 4 F1. Option C is correct one. Okay. All right. See the next problem. And this is also a previous IIT problem. 2003 given for two marks. Right, so the question in our experiment for the determination of speed of a sound in air using resonance column method. So, this is one experiment which is very important for IIT advanced point of view. Length of air column that resonates, length of air column that resonates with first harmonic fundamental mode means first harmony with a tuning fork is 0 0.1 meter first one this is length of the air column when this length is changed to 0 0.35 meter the same tuning fork resonates with the first overtone first overtone means third harmonic right calculate the end correction. So first one 0 0.1 meter, second one 0 0.35 meter. Okay, we have to calculate now end correction. See how we are solving the problem. Right. Given L1 equal to 0 0.1 meter, L2 equal to 0 0.35 meter. First, I will make a diagram to get a clarity on what we are going to do now. There is a one pipe. which is filled with water, filled up to some height, okay? This is now water, okay, water. We are given length of air column. We are given now this length, okay? Right. So we are having here one tuning fork. We are keeping tuning fork like this while doing experiment. Keeping tuning fork like this. So prongs vibrate like this in this way. They push the air now downwards. Air is going down, reflects from surface of water. Then the reflecting one and the one which is going inside, they form standing views. Okay. So this is now closed pipe because one end is now water. This is now closed pipe. Okay. We are given first harmonic length L1. Okay, first harmonic means L1 is taken as we are knowing that node, pressure node is not exactly at the at this point, it is slightly above, right? That means what we can write L1 plus end correction is equal to lambda by 4. Remember, we have taken open end is a pressure node, but this is slightly outside. So from node 2, this is now anti-node. Node 2 anti-node separation is lambda by 4. That's why L1 plus E equal to lambda by 4. Next, he's saying that it's the first overtone. That means we are reducing now length of the water column. What is it? Reduce now length of water column. Then length of air column increases. That is now given as 30, sorry, 0 0.35. Then we are taking as L2 plus V is equal to. Now in this we are going to get in this we are going to get we are going to get here 
one half loop and one complete loop, right? One half loop and one complete loop. It is I sure anti no. I think we have to take here node, right? Pressure node. And this is now node. Diagram comes like this. Node is not exactly at the open and slightly outside. Okay. That separation is what we are taking as end correction. So a half loop and a complete loop. So lambda by four plus lambda by two, three lambda by four. This is now three lambda by four. Okay. <clears throat> so I hope you got clarity. Now right here. Zero point one plus E is equal to L by four. Zero point three five plus E equal to it is now 3 lambda by 4. If you subtract, then see what we get. Lambda by 2 is equal to 0 0.25, right? Cross check 1, so I take a correct one. Okay. 0 0.35 minus 0 0.1, 0 0.25, right? Means lambda value. If they ask what is the wavelength, it is. 0 0.5 meter okay right suppose we are given we are given frequency of tuning four then we can find the last year for you can say speed of a sound that is <clears throat> speed of a sound v equal to f into lambda and lambda is how much lambda how much <clears throat> lambda how much we got lambda by two equal to is it 2 into L2 minus L1, right? So lambda by 2 equal to how much? L2 minus L1. So 2 into L2 minus L1. So this is actually we are using while doing experiment, okay? To find velocity of sound. You will be given frequency of the tuning fork. From experiment, we are going to get L1, L2. When these two are known, already F is known, then we get the value of speed of a sound okay. now coming to in this problem we have to calculate end correction now take this lambda value let us take in first one let us take a different color here now substitute this value in first one Lambda 0 0.5, lambda by 4 means 0 0.125, right? <clears throat> that is equal to 0 0.1 plus C. E. That implies E value. E value 0 0.025 meters, right? R it is equal to one two. It is two point five centimeter. That is the answer. Okay. <clears throat> so this is the experiment to find the speed of a sound. From experiment, we are getting L one L two. From that, we are getting lambda value. Lambda how much? Two into L two minus L one. This is lambda value. And we are knowing frequency of Turing four then we get speed of a sound. That is the aim of the experiment. Okay. So finding end correction and finding speed of a sound. Right.